Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I want to show you an idea I had, a theory really, about creating detail information using fog in SketchUp and Layout. This isn't an, an incredibly complicated process or anything, uh, but I was wondering, after talking with a customer, what would be the possibility of like using fog to blur out a portion of a section or, or a model and uh, having part of it stand out. So to call attention to that one section. Um, I've seen details done with this where the, the important parts up front and then kind of the back kind of drifts off into fog and disappears. But what if the part you want to call out is not right at the front? What if it's in the back or in the middle or something like that? So I came up with what I think is kind of a cool thing. Uh, let me know, of course, what you think and if this seems like something you'd use. Let's check this out. Okay, so I have this model. This is a model I did for a live stream where we took a patio and kind of put this built-in bar kind of thing in here. So like I said, what I've seen on other details is where the details in here and then we're zoomed in on the part that's important and the rest of the model kind of blurs off as it goes away from the camera. Um, I'm gonna say for this model, for example, I want to blur out or, or desaturate, call less attention to the rest of the model, except for this bar area. So what I did was I came up with a way to separate out the visualization of the bar from the rest of the building. And let, let me show you, let me show you how, or the rest of the model, let me show you how I did that. So first thing I did, this was not exciting, this was boring, but I created two tags. So one is untagged as everything that's in this model, except this section of the bar, this being the bar, all the pieces with it, the umbrellas and the chairs, all of that went on to a new tag. So this new bar, oops, I switch back to my, switch this bar back here. And if I turn that off, so you can see that section, just that is its own tag. This is important for what I'm, what I'm gonna show you here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by getting a nice fog on here and save that scene. So we're going to fog settings, I'm gonna say display fog. And I'm gonna use the same as the background, white, because I do want this all to fade out into white, so it's, you know, fades out into the, the paper. And I want my distance here to come all the way as close as I can get to the camera. So I'm gonna put that at zero. And then I want my, my background fog to come up enough, not that anything disappears, but that everything is just, I just want it desaturated. I want it to not uh, stand out on the paper. So because of the way fog works, I can't bring this back past the camera. I can't pull it beyond me. Um, and remember, fog is connected to the camera. So if I zoom in and out, the fog is just gonna go with the camera. So if I zoom in closer, the fog will move further away uh, because that's how fog works. But this is good enough. This is good. This this gives me, you know, that that background is, it's, it's not gone, but you can see it's kind of blurred out. So with that done, I'm gonna go up to scenes and I'm gonna save my first scene. All right, so this is my gonna be my background. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to layer my viewports and I'm going to slap on a non-desaturated version of just the bar. So to create that new version, that new layer that's gonna go on top when I get over to layout, and I did use layers correctly. That is how I want, I want to actually layer these pieces one on top of another. That's correct layers. I didn't, I didn't make an oops and call tags layers until right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up to my tags. I'm gonna turn off untagged so only my bar is turned on. And then I'm gonna turn my fog off. So now I have just my bar floating there and then I'm gonna add another scene. All right, so here's my two scenes. Everything foggy, just the bar, no fog. You can see here's the, those are the two details. So I need those two scenes first. So I'm gonna save that. that. Then I can take that into layout. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to take that. Ooh, you know what? Before we do that, let's go, let's do one more thing. Um, let's go to this scene. So a scene where we have this and let's, let's add to that background look. Let's go to our styles and let's go to edit our edges. And instead of black, let's, let's put like a, a grayish color on there, lighter gray. Oh, see how that does? Oh, very nice. So we still maintain our lines. We still maintain, but even further in the background, see how it just kind of less saturated. See that 
versus that, especially these things where there's line heavy steps and stuff. That looks cool. That looks great. So I want to update that. I'm going to update that scene real quick. All right. Now, now that we've done that, now let's take this with our two scenes. Ooh, this this style updated too. So I want to make sure I'm going to put that back to uh, all black. Oh, there. There we go. I'm sorry. Now, I got both these scenes. This is my black details for lines. This is my gray details in the fog. Let's let's take that and let's go hop into layout. All right, what size page do I put it on? I'll just put it on a letter page. And that'll just create, just like the normal, it's just gonna dump that on there. Okay, there, ooh, look how foggy that is. No detail at all, that's perfect. So one of the things we always talk about in layout is when we look at a viewport like this, do we want to have this in raster versus hybrid versus vector with something where I don't want detail, raster is perfect. That way I have the colors in there. I have my, my, my clouds in there that or, or fog in there, my grainy details in the background. This is perfect. I'm going to create two layers real quick. I'm just gonna hit plus plus right here. I'm going to say, this is my foggy layer. And then this one I'm going to call my detail layer. I'm going to take my, this drawing right here that I have, and I'm going to say, move that to my foggy layer, right? So now I can toggle that on and off if I want, but I need my detail layer too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I want my two viewports to overlap exactly. I want them to be together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one right here. I'm going to go to edit, copy, and I'm going to say edit, paste to current layer. So now I have a copy of this on the foggy layer and I have a copy of this on the detail layer. So what do I want to do now? Well, I want to make sure to take the one on the detail layer, right? So I'm gonna take this one, foggy's turned off so I can't accidentally select it. And I'm gonna change my scene to scene two. There's my detail. So now uh, my detail layer is right here. I got my black lines on there, it pops. It's not very detailed though. It's still set to raster. So the lat, well, not the, the next thing I'm going to do, I keep saying last, like we're almost done. There's a couple more steps. Uh, I'm going to change this from raster to hybrid. Hybrid is going to keep my materials that I like in there, but it's giving me clean, sharp black lines over top. So I'm going to hit hybrid and that's going to take just a second to re-render and give me nice sharp line. And there we go. All right. So that looks good. It's on a separate layer. Um, this looks perfect. Only problem, of course, is even if we turn on foggy, we're still not seeing it because the layer on top is still has all the white background visible. So all we have to do there is turn off background. And there it is. There's our detail call out on our foggy background. Um, one last thing I'm going to probably suggest is to grab, do a group select. So that gets both of them, um, both my foggy layer and my detail or my foggy uh, viewport and my detail viewport and right click and I'm going to put them into a group by putting them into a group. That means I could take this and I could move it around and they'll both go together. That's going to kind of lock them together, but they still have different controls here because I can snap them on and off with my layers, but you can see. So now if I was to zoom in, if I was to come in and like, uh, uh, you know, trim this down or anything like that, I still have those details. So again, my thought was, does this do a good job of calling us out? If everything else here was existing and this was my only new part, would this make a good cover to show here's your new outdoor patio grill area? Um, is that a good way to make it stand out? And uh, that's just something I came up with. So like I said, this was an idea that I had based on a conversation with a SketchUp user, but I'd love to hear your ideas. Do you already do something like this? Do you see a spot where this would make sense to have that separating the two material or two two sections of your model and having one be blurry having one be clear um, let me know what you think let me know if you think you have a use case for this or if we could modify it ever so slightly and make it even more useful um, i'd love to hear about that if you like that video click like down below and if you haven't already please do subscribe we create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe most importantly though please do leave us a comment down below let me know what you think about this if i should change this if there's a use case for this that i didn't even think of 
We love hearing your comments. And if you have an idea for a different video, leave that down there too. We like making these videos a lot, but we'd like to meet more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.